church or organization has signed up for a powerful new tool that makes it easier for you to support the ministry and mission. This tool is called Engage, and the purpose of this video is to show you how to get started using Engage by creating your account. Engage is a web-based tool, and so your church or organization will provide a link to their Engage site. For this example, I'm going to create my Engage account with First Community Church of Big City, Kentucky. I've received the link to the church's Engage site, and it took me here, to the login page. In order to get started and create my account, I'm going to click on or tap the Create Account link, right here under the Sign In button. When I tap Create Account, Engage will ask for an email address. Engage will use this address to send a confirmation email later in the sign-up process, and Engage will also use this email address to look up my information in First Community Church's database. When I've entered my email address, I tap Register, and then if Engage finds a record with an email address matching mine, Engage will respond by showing my name matching the person that it found in the database with my email address. Engage may also display a list of names with that email address that it found in the database. Tap on the name that you want to use to create this account. In some cases, Engage may respond that it did not find a matching email address in the database. If this is the case, first you should double check and be sure that you typed your email address correctly. If the address is correct, you may want to contact the office and be sure that they have your current email address. You can still proceed with creating an account if no match was found for your email address, and Engage will ask you for some additional information. Please be aware that this may create duplicate information in the organization's database, so it's a good idea to check with them. Once I've matched my email address up with a name, Engage will ask me to create a username. The only restriction on the username is that it has to be unique within your church or organization's data. Once you've filled in a username, tap on the Create Username button. Engage will send an email to the address that I entered to create the account. This serves two purposes. First, it shows that I have access to the email address that I used to create the account. Then, it gives me the link to create a password for the account. That email will display the username that I created, and it will contain a password reset code. I can copy and paste that code back into Engage, or I can simply tap or click the Reset Password link in the email. Once I have created a password for my account, I can return to the Engage login screen, enter my username and password, and click Sign In. Now I have full access to a pictorial member directory. I can look up contact information for the groups that I'm part of. I can use Engage Giving to create a single gift or a recurring gift. I can review my most recent online gifts, and I can use Engage Events to register for upcoming activities. That's how you get started and create your Engage account. Hopefully, having this connection to your church or organization at your fingertips will help you engage more deeply with the work and ministry of your church or organization.